all remember this. Who can forget this video of a big soccer fan rushing the field at Sun Life Stadium? This happened last month and giving Real Madrid star Cristiano Ronaldo one big hug and a good talking to. Ronaldo was very gracious, we remember, mm -hmm. and did his best to protect that fan from authorities. And now it appears the world-famous soccer star is hoping that his influence can make authorities drop the charges against this young man. Here's Local 10's Baron James with the rest of the story. International soccer superstar Cristiano Ronaldo is hoping to score big for one of his biggest fans right here in South Florida. Wow, hugging Cristiano Ronaldo. After this hug felt around the world when Ronnie Joka ran onto the pitch during a match at Sun Life Stadium in August. It was mostly it was a lot of adrenaline just hitting at once. And ended up in jail charged with trespassing and disorderly conduct. That was my first time ever ever going to jail and I don't ever want to go back there again. In this letter dated September 12th to the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office, it appears Real Madrid's Ronaldo throws his support behind Joka, writing, I understand your position and the importance of enforcing rules and law. However, I respectfully request that you and your office reconsider this decision and dismiss the two criminal charges this young man faces. I was just in shock. I couldn't believe it. I said, really, Ronaldo? really, really does look out for his fans. Well, I'd like to think they're going to dismiss the case. Huh? Immigration attorney Richard Huber, who reached out to this law firm in Ronaldo's native Portugal. Within a very short period of time, and I mean just a few hours, we get this letter by email, and then they sent the, an original letter, letter signed by uh, Ronaldo. Is representing 19-year-old Joka, who's here on a student visa from Canada, studying at Palm Beach State Community College. We don't want to see a case result in and him losing his visa or him getting deported. Now, as Ronald Joka's legal case heads into the 90th minute, as they say in soccer, this super fan and amateur footballer hopes to score his goal of getting on with his life after this once in a lifetime foul play. I regret doing it because, like I said, safety, somebody could have been heard. And I just hope all charges are dropped. I really don't want it to impact me. I want to have a successful future. That and Ronnie just left his attorney's office here in Boynton Beach, heading to play on a soccer match himself. We also reached out to the law firm in Portugal, but unfortunately, we didn't score a comment or an interview. Meanwhile, though, Ronnie Joka's next hearing is set for Monday, October 7th, where the charges could be dropped, or they could reach a plea deal, or he could face trial, where he could possibly see jail time, probation, or community service for that hug and running onto the field. Reporting live in Boynton Beach, Baron James, Local 10 News. Baron